Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the Cypress tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn about fail on status code while testing APIs through Cypress. We will also be using a chat GPT. So let's begin. While testing an API, you might need to provide some options and the syntax is basically cy.request and you need to provide your options. Now scroll down a bit here and you will find different options available. So you have log, you have URL, you have method, auth, body, and then you have fail on status code. By default, this value is true. Uh, and this value is basically a Boolean value. You can either give a true value or the false value. And by default, what happens is that if your API is returning some other status code beside 200 series and 300 series, it will fail automatically. But this is uh, something which we need to change in order to test our different scenarios. And before we proceed with the scenarios, let me open the test runner and show you some error here. So this is an error and this error is basically 4 to 9 to many requests. And in this case, our API is getting failed. And if we scroll down here and it suggests that if you do not want status code to cause failure, pass this option as false and now the question is that why we need to make it false so let me go to the notepad here and let me explain you so your test scenario is that test scenario so the test is that you have to test that if there is some problem with api syntax then api should return 400 which means that this is a bad request now this is your positive case right so you need to test this one similarly uh, if if user is accessing some data which is not present on your server then in this particular case api should return 404 not found right this is your case right then if you are accessing an api which requires authentication authentication and if you are not authenticated if you are not authenticated then api should return 401 status code which means you are not authenticated so there are different scenarios where you want a status code which does not belong to 200 or 300 series right so there are a couple of scenarios as example and now how we can handle those scenarios so simply what we'll do is that we will go here and we will provide this fail on status code as false so let's go to the visual studio code here and let's rephrase uh, this re actually rewrite this code in order to provide the options because there is no way here in this syntax to provide an option so simply what i'll do is that let me remove this one from here and simply what i'll do is that cy dot request and inside this request we will be providing our different options so in order to provide the different options here so you need to use a curly braces and now you need to define the different things here for example you need to define method and then colon and then the method here in this case is delete okay and then we need to provide the url then again colon then again we have two these things and then um let me go here and 
go to this website and let me copy this URL from here and let's go back here and provide the URL and in the similar way we will be providing our fail or status code so for that again let me go back here and here if I go back here in terms of Cypress so simply I will copy this one from here and let me go back to Visual Studio code here then again call in and then we need to provide as false right so that's how we can actually provide this one and here we need to provide the comma here so that's all about using this one and let me save this one and let's see what happens so it says no test found so let me go back here and let me see if there's some problem with the syntax let me remove this one now we have a very correct sentence here save this one and let's go back here so the api is working fine it's giving us 200 but let me redone this one so now you see that we got 429 as a status code but it didn't fail my scenario in this case because because uh, the reason is that we have marked it as a false and now cypress is not considering it as a fail now let's uh, go to the chat gpt and let's ask chat gpt about this one so what is fail or stress code in cypress and how to use it let's see what chat gpt says about this one so fail on state code is an option in cy.request command in the cyber that determines whether a non 2x status code should cause the to request a fail right so by default this value is set to true which means that non 2x status codes will cause the request to fail and the test to fail as well to use the options in the cy.request you can pass it as a property in the object as an example so method url and this one so that's how we actually did and that's 100 percent correct as well thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial